Hi Legends, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be watching Enchanted. I have my best princessy dress on today for the occasion. If anyone is interested in this dress, I will put where it is from down below. I've really wanted to watch Enchanted for a long time. I haven't watched it since I was like a kid. So yes, I've seen the sequel. I actually didn't mind it. But we are here today to watch Enchanted. I honestly am so excited. This was such a childhood favorite of mine. I think it's like my favorite live action Disney movie and I think it still is. So we'll jump right into it. If you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe, check out my socials and join the Patreon if you want the full length reaction to this movie. Oh, it's so pretty. I have that book. I have the Enchanted book. Oh my God, guys. I have the Enchanted book. Also, we'll see by the end of the movie if that statue like is but i'm pretty sure it's wearing robert's clothes that you see him wear in the dance in the ballroom at the end correct me if i'm wrong but i think that might be the same outfit you didn't give him any lips oh. mm, well do white men have lips <laughs> the way this movie is also kind of like a parody though of other princess movies which is so iconic like look at disney they can actually be original that's kind of wild. They haven't done that in ages. Oh my god, this is so magical. This is so fairy tale. This is so cute. I love this so much. This is so magical. Gurney definitely had a type though, because even, is it Prince Edward? Very similar look. It's easy to believe that this is who her true love is. Go boss, hustler. Look at him go. That's impressive. Oh. That's okay. <laughs> oh, I was having the best time of my life and that changed instantly. <laughs> oh my god, it's such a fairy tale meeting. I was about to say, could be a little bit of a LGBTQ plus storyline there. He's like, no, you hear me trying to keep it from ever meeting a girl yeah they spell it out for us oh james marston your vocals he's such an underrated actor i know he's like a big thing but he to me is underrated compared to some of the other actors out there i don't think he gets the credit he deserves like this was perfect casting though putting him as prince charming or whatever <laughs> i'd let him save me feminism out the door sabotage just saying kind of looked like she fell faster when he stepped up there their vocals though jesus also want to say don't know if i could call a friend not this is not being shady but girly we don't talk enough eat my fanny <laughs> aka sophia her vocals i was watching her video the other day and her vocals girly you can sing also i'm sorry but evil queens mothers like they're so fabulous. I like I can't be mad at the evil queens because they're so iconic. Sorry. Oh, oh my god, this I wedding dress no. though. <gasps> so, it's gonna happen oh, soon. Because she shows up in New York with the uh, the wedding dress on. Oh my <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> Disney really had us scared of old ladies. A crime. What have old ladies ever done to us? <gasps> Oh, sabotage the disrespect. That is mother, though. You send her to a place where there are no happily ever after. Oh my god, it's so miserable that they're referencing real life, like our world, as no happy ever afters. Girly, not during this quarter life crisis. Oh, that was like very satisfying in the headphones, that sound effect. Oh yeah, a girl, he's like, is she on the floor or in the sewers right now? Gravity doing her wonders, may I say. No one's like batting an eyelid. Maybe that's just New York, but I feel like I'd bat an eyelid if someone came out of a sewer drain. Pennywise, that you? She's got the hair for it. Oh, she really revealed her ass to everyone. Five seconds in the real world and she's already flashing. Controversial girly. Hey, watch it, will ya? Oh, I thought. <gasps> oh my, the poor Manzi. But also, he was in her skirt, so sir. Even 
a smile, I'm sure that would Has he got one of those toothy so grins? Much. Yeah. He's got a gummy smile. Oh, come on. Don't give me that look. Is he stupid? What six-year-old wants a book like that? Like, yes, it's cool and inspirational for women to see other inspirational, cool women. But let children be children. Get her the fairy tale book. Is that such a big ask? Is that controversial of me to say, get a child a fairy tale book? It's not like she's going to try and be your mother. Oh my god, again, a dead mother. It's kind of a serve, though. It's an advertisement. It's a mannequin. Dumb pooter. Get back in here! I can Woman supporting woman. She didn't need a book for that. <gasps> Is he gonna catch her? True love! Robert at least did something right. He may have not got his daughter the correct book, but he caught Giselle. So. It's the most powerful thing in the world. And she holds on to that till the very end of the movie, and I love that for her, as she should. Don't let a man break your spirit. If you believe in something, believe in it. Hi, I need a car at 116th and Riverside, please. So you can say never mind, because deep down there's true love. <gasps> Oh my god, the way he's like so down bad for her already. Oh wow, <laughs> that's not subtle at all. Peasant? Oh, he was real for that one. Poor chipmunk. Speechless in my presence. It's not hard to believe though, is it? Like, I see where he'd get that ego from because it's James Marsden, everyone. Daddy! That is father, not even daddy, that's father. Oh, wait, the animals do come a crawling, not the flies, please not the flies. Oh, she was gonna infest that apartment with so many germs. Like, I hope she closes the windows before any flies can get in. Oh no. Oh God, that is disgusting with the flies. Ladies built a whole army. I don't know how you'd explain that off though, if a lady came into your life and she sung and then all the animals came to her. If that's not enough proof that she's a princess, I don't know what is because for me, that would be so much proof that she's a, <gasps> a princess. See, this is what the second movie just couldn't do is the songs. They do not have anywhere near the same impact as this movie. Down, not the flies. I just can't. And the cockroaches, that was just grim. Oh, she's so at one with the bugs. It couldn't be me. Amy Adams' voice is not used enough because the vocals, the talent. Like, this was perfect casting in this movie to have her. A murder! Oh, wow. It comes from the pipes. Where did the pipes get it? Uh, I don't know. From wherever the pipes. Ooh, he was flustered. Dead. Look at him stumbling over his words. I mean, wouldn't you too in the presence of Amy Adams? Hey. <gasps> Idina Menzel, or do I mean Adele Dazim? The wickedly talented one and only Adele Dazim. Oh, that looks bad. That looks bad. Oh. Now, is Nancy in this actually the evil queen? Is she? Because I can't remember. I think she is, right? I love this dress so much. What I would do to have this dress or for people to make dresses like this. Where are these kind of dresses? Because I don't want a party store one. I want an actual dress like that. You're unhappy. Oh, the curtains. You made a dress out of my curtains. Oh, you are unhappy. I am so sorry. Like, I'd be a little bit mad, but also I'd see the talent behind that DIY queen. She would have like reigned the YouTube DIY scene back in the day. Okay, also Nancy isn't the evil queen. But I'm so confused, I swore she was. I do anything for him. Oh wow, he was simping for her. Like, get a backbone, my guy. Get him out of there. Let's go. Get in there. People Not a flawless exit like Giselle and Edward now, is it? Even the squirrel had a better exit or entrance, depends on how you look at it. I'm looking for a prince, actually. Mm. Come on, monsters. I'm just saying there was a storyline there, definitely. Oh my, 
guys, that could have been a murder. The steel beast is dead, peasants. I set you all free. He needs to stop though of calling everyone peasants because that's gonna get him in so much trouble. Can I just cannot stop thinking about that dress because the way it moves as well as she walks. Oh my goodness. I think if I had that dress, all my problems in the world would be solved. Giselle, Giselle, don't drink that, okay? I have a critically important meeting. Oh, we know she's got a fish in her mouth. I've seen this one too many times before. I don't know why it's such a trope for women to have fish in their mouth. Because oh. yellow jackets, hello. Ooh. 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 Mama! Also, I do want to say this storyline is giving once upon a time. Because it's like how Regina cursed them all to be in the real world so they couldn't have a happy ever after. And this is how like she's cursed them to be in the real world so they couldn't have a happy ever after. But they do have their memory. It's the only difference. Ever end up tasting so mm, Oh, delicious. the health violation. Did he stick his finger in there? Manzi, I know that's an unwashed hand. Oh, oh my little. Mm, oh, yes, oh wow. Okay, he's really simping for her and it's kind of creepy. Like, not the lip quiver. Maybe we should put him down for his own <laughs> Oh, what? he's about to murder him! Good lord! Not Pip almost getting murdered! You wanna say? Oh, he's so adorable. I remember why I was so obsessed with him. <laughs> not him as well, holding in the knife still in the background. Someone should take the knife away from him. Where is the Oscar? Here we go. Good. Well, I have to say, I, I, also, are they not playing the Little Mermaid there? She was looking in the tank. Like, part of your world. I swear I just heard... You can hear the tune playing. It's very subtle. Oh, I love that. I never noticed that before. Like, that's so adorable. Oh my god, I didn't realize they had like a little Easter egg there for the Little Mermaid. I love that. The man who holds your heart is a lucky fellow indeed. Oh you no. Oh, well, I'm certain he already knows. Excuse me? Oh, does she put him out of a job because she solves their divorce? Oh, it's stinky up in that armpit. The poor chipmunk, poor Pip, stuck in his sweaty armpit? It's a no from me. Ew, I know it's squelching up in there. Like, that's a damp armpit. Oh, the way he looks at her. You cannot convince me he was not already falling for her. Oh, they are grumpy ex sunshine. They are the blueprint. Yes. <gasps> the way he smiled at her, he is so transfixed on her. Oh, I didn't think they'd give me the feels, but they're giving me the feels. Like, they're kind of adorable. And, like, the way he's just falling for her without even realizing he's falling for her. And, oh my god, I'm just noticing his hair. He's got lovely hair. How long have you known your Nancy? Uh, it's five years. And you have me five years no, no. and he's about to fall for giselle in like two hours First, today is free caramel apple day. Uh, he oh, could not be he could not be creepier well thank you very much kind sir he was like stuck in his ass cheeks where was he stuck in the pocket or in his ass cheeks because i am very concerned oh <gasps> Pip was really going through it in this movie. I don't like this manzi at all. He's terrorizing a chipmunk. Get a grip. Not if she knows. Knows what? How much you really Oh, here we go. Oh my god, I can't wait, I can't wait, I can't wait. How does she know? This is such an iconic song. It's probably one of the Disney's best songs, Argue with the Wool. Because <laughs> she's serving vocals. That's why. How does she know that you love her? Also serving vocals. Love to him that it's insane that there could be songs that he's not heard though in this world. But hey, he tipped, so he's respectful. There's not really many red flags with this guy, Z. I will say that. Also want to say though, Demi Lovato's rock version of this is so good. I listen to it unironically all the time. It's just too good. I don't know what else to say about it. I just absolutely love Demi Lovato's rock version of this song and I will listen to it every day of my life. Ooh, I it's just it's shot so well it's choreographed so well the song is done so well the music is done so well everything about this is perfect i don't think disney can ever top this the way he looks at her as well the entire time i didn't realize actually how cute they kind of were and how damn bad for her he was without even realizing like he's just smiling the entire time I don't dance. and he dances at the end with her oh i'm just feeling all the feels of this movie 
<gasps> oh, I love this moment. <laughs> oh. I think this might be my favorite Disney movie. Definitely favorite live action, but I'm just thinking in general, this is my favorite Disney movie now. Oh, Amy Adams, her best performance. That's not being disrespectful. She's done so many amazing things, but I just love her so much for this. Look at him bopping along. Because this is a certified bop, you can't help but bop along. Should have won all the awards. On your royal, I know. On your royal. <laughs> Wait, on your royal ass? What's he gonna say? It's so spontaneous. <laughs> Good. <laughs> I can't wait. Good. Great. Wait, Nancy's kind of done dirty in this movie though, because her and Robert aren't gonna end up together, and she's done nothing wrong. But he just falls for Giselle because they are each other's true love. I just kind of feel bad for Nancy now when I'm watching this, because girly like she's gonna feel betrayed by the fact that she thought something was going on she's told nothing's going on and nothing was going on but then he is falling for her i don't need self-respect i swear as well this music in the background is kind of like beauty and the beast it's like a different kind of version of taylor's oldest time see i'm catching all these tunes they can't get it past me as a, again pip was really going through it pip was constantly being almost eliminated from exhaustion. If someone holds an animal like that, don't you know that they're evil? Edward, this was dumb of you. This is flop behavior, bestie, not picking this up. <gasps> like, this is evil. Oh my goodness. No, I hate, no, that's awful. He's clipped his little paws. That's awful. Animal abuse? But I mean, okay, zip lining genius. Pip is the true hero of this movie. Going above and beyond to save Giselle. Did she miss her terribly? Miss who? Her mother. Um, well, we just... What? <laughs> He's like, we don't talk about it. <laughs> Keep the feelings buried deep talk. down. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I mean, relatable coping mechanism. I like talking to you. Oh, is it him again? <sighs> oh, he's such major red flag creep. <gasps> The hero strikes again. <gasps> oh, my Pip deserves the respect, okay? Pip is just being disrespected left and right in this movie and I never realised it until now. No wonder though I loved him so much when I was younger because I remember having like an obsession with Pip and it makes sense. Pip's been saving the day left and right in this movie. Not enough people are talking about Pip. Thank you very much. Who needs a prince when you have Pip? <gasps> He was trying to eliminate Pip at every single turn. Not them applauding it. That's awful. Oh, they are all deranged. You do not applaud the murder of an animal. Just take the animal outside and leave it back on the street if that's how you want to get rid of it. But you don't need to burn it alive. They are also inhumane in there. Oh my God, I love his hustle though. He's really knocking on every door to find Giselle. No. 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 Is that the only word that you know? <gasps> Come no. for his neck. No. <laughs> I'm angry. <laughs> Are you alright? I'm angry. I'm angry. Princesses have emotional range too. Oh, yeah, touch that hairy chest, girly. Get a good feel. Might remind you of back home in the woods. <laughs> oh. Oh? Okay. Okay, goody. Swerved. Cause I was about to, like calm down guys. Come on, relax. Hmm. Ooh, he's starting to love it. As he should. <gasps> oh wow. But whoever did actually make these dresses needs a raise because these dresses are stunning in this movie. No, I mean how do I look? You look so beautiful. Beautiful. Aww. I've been dreaming of a true love's kiss. He sings too. And um I mean you see why they'd work though if they actually did stay together. Who was made? <gasps> she doesn't finish his made? sentence anymore. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> and if you ever come to town, we should all get together for dinner. That would be lovely. Oh, so they're playing the hints of the song that we hear later, I think, in the ballroom. Like, they're playing a tiny little bit of it. I don't know what that song's called. Is it called So Close or something? 
this movie is so good i cannot stress that enough if you haven't seen it what are you doing go watch it immediately but like, that's shocking if you have not seen this movie yet i'm gonna really miss her you say me too me too <gasps> He says it again. Oh, he is so down bad. Is she gonna look over her shoulder? No, she's not. Oh, he was beyond down bad. I'm coming there, and I will kill the little wretch myself. Oh my! Oh, he let out a little poo. I was just thinking. <laughs> the girl said about Phoebe's eyes sparkling. Oh my god. Okay. I mean, it's the first thing I noticed. She saved their divorce. I'm going to the ball, and I'm not sure what to do or what I should wear. Hmm. And I don't Morgan was her fairy godmother. Yeah. She's even got like the little outfit for it. She's got the crown. She's got the wand. She's got the wings. Ooh, Daddy's credit card's paying for all this. And these do not look like cheap places. Poor Mansy. Oh, they went on a shopping spree. Oh my. Edward has a stepmother. Well, I've never met her, but I hear she's just lovely. Yeah, I'm waiting to see her because it's not Idina, but I always remembered it being Idina as the evil queen. So it confuses me as to who the casting is for this because I don't have any memory of like anyone else being the evil queen but Idina. But it's not her, okay. It's not Idina. <laughs> Did anyone else have that memory as a child that Idina was the evil queen? I'm just silly. I'm stupid. Also, I'm just realizing that in this movie, Nancy, Idina, Nancy, she also plays Nancy Tremaine in Cinderella. Who would have guessed? Do with that information what you will. I don't know what it means. It's just kind of cool. Yeah, it kind of is what he was wearing on the statue at the beginning, right? Although I'd say it was more blue at the beginning. But like on the mannequin, it is similar. I would love to go to a ball. I would not complain. Someone take me to a ball. Just want to say. The one of this looks stunning, this scene. Like all the colours, the blues and pinks and purples. Now. Why is it when she finally attends a ball, like what she's supposed to be good at inherently as a princess she comes with the blandest dress alive everyone else here's really dressed up this is the one time where she could have worn something that she's used to but no they give her the blandest dress alive for this ball it doesn't make any sense but okay i just don't know what the thinking was behind this i mean i guess it makes her stand out because she's the only one not dressed up like everyone else so maybe that's the point of it, for her to stand out. I don't know. Is Giselle the love of my life, my heart's true desire? So straightforward. Not a hint of irony. It's very romantic. Ooh, well, ooh. You. Ooh, vibes. Because I, I know they're together in the second movie, but I don't know if they like, kind of set them up to like each other in this movie. I'd like to ask each gentleman to invite the lady he did not accompany this evening to dance the king and queen's waltz. Ooh. They were trying to set up some issues in this ballroom. Dance with the lady you did not invite? The drama this could have ensued. And it kind of does. So close. It is the So Close song. Yeah. Oh, this movie is so beautiful though. And I am convinced they gave her the blandest dress so that ironically in some weird way she would stick out. Oh, and these two are both watching the others. Oh, it's kind of tragic for them though, isn't it? <gasps> but this setting, the purple and the warm lighting. <gasps> he's singing too. Oh my, god. oh my god. Oh my god, he's singing along too and dancing. He was like, I don't sing, I don't dance. High school musical to who? Oh, but I don't blame Nancy if she wants to square up because there's another woman snoodling her man. I'm so glad that this is one of those movies that doesn't get worse as you watch it when you're older because there's some movies that have like that childhood glaze over them that they are so much better when you're younger because you, you just like what you see because it's just entertaining but um this one still holds up like as an adult i'm still loving it oh and as the lyrics say if i should lose you now as they have to be separated and they are so close mandy sung the heck out of that song though Aww. wait did he not kiss her is a drama there? Did he not kiss her back? Did he have those lips shut or did he not even go in for it? Oh my. Oh girly, that's gotta hurt. Poor Nancy. I will forever say that. <gasps> oh my. <laughs> Old ladies are allowed to exist, but that was just a bit of a jump scare. <laughs> oh, not her with her gummy and teethy smile. Toothy. <laughs> I meant toothy. 
That is one shiny ass apple. Ew, ew, ew. Like, put that tongue away. I love how this movie kind of references Little Mermaid, Beauty and the Beast, Snow White. Am I missing any? I think it's like the main three it references. Yes. Oh, her. Her eyeshadow, though. For a little fresh air. She seems to have Looks impeccable. Amazing. 10 out of 10. Oh, what do we do? Did you say true love's kiss? True love's kiss. Oh, poor Nancy. I hope she didn't hear that. Oh. <coughs> Besties, this is kind of awkward. <coughs> How awkward. It's not possible. It couldn't be me. Don't you I see? I barely know her. I've only known her for a few days. It has to be. Sir Robert. <gasps> it's okay. Nancy, you legend. Oh my gosh, she really pulled through. I love her for that. Nancy support squad. <sighs> She said women supporting women. Okay, hurry up. We've got seconds at this point in time. Like any time today, sir. Mm, she's a little happy. She had a little smile to herself. She thought, ooh. I knew it was you. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Nancy. But... <laughs> you want a show? I'll give you a show. <gasps> Performance. Back she's going to serve. Get ready. Cinderella reference. Okay, so we've had Cinderella, Snow White, Beauty and the Beast, The Little Mermaid. I guess that makes you the damsel in distress, huh, handsome? Handsome? I take that as a win. Calling me handsome? I'm happy to die. I would need that musty Mandy to apologize to Pip because he put him through so much. And that was just animal abuse at that point. Also, I want to say it's kind of funny that Idina Menzel does not sing a single song in this movie, even though you've got Idina Menzel. I want to say as well, I know she's trying to eliminate them all, but she's talented. Got to hand it to her. Sure, she may be unhinged, but she's talented. She had a plan. She was executing the plan. And honestly, Girl boss, gotta support her. Oh my. I'd like to see the media coverage on this one. Oh no, Pip, Pip, do not sabotage again. People fall faster when he said, I. Ah! What? Pip is secretly, well, Pip has also been the OG in this movie because he saved them time and time again. So I can't really come for his neck. But it is suspicious that he always seems to be the one to push them off. Is this a habit of yours? Falling off of stuff? Cool guy. Only when you're around to catch me. Oh my, oh my. They are mother and father. Argue with the wall. Oh god. This movie is just too good. And this instrumental is so Disney. It's just, it encaptures the whole like magic fairy tale-ness of Disney in the song. Is that the end? The disrespect. I'm not ready for it to be over. <gasps> oh wait, this is when we solidify that her and Edward kind of, is he gonna offer to put the shoe on? <gasps> Oh my god, oh my god. I love this for them. Brunettes unite. It's a perfect fit. I love that for them. Because also she liked well, how romantic he was being. And I'm so happy for Nancy. It's what she deserves. Oh, and she was so ready to jump in a sewer with him. If that's not a true love, I don't know what is. Because that could have been a major red flag that he might try and murder you, girly. But she said, let's go. He really found the one. Icon, I love that. I don't know if she like started her own fashion business, but you may as well with the design she was coming up with. They don't really address this in the second movie though. You cannot convince me that this was not making bank for them. So they made a girly leave her business in the second one. Okay, I'm mad. My royal pain. Oh, I mean, I'm glad everyone got their happy ending, but some are more deserved than others. I like Pips. Again, Pips, the true hero of this story. It's such a cute movie. I love it so much. That's the end of Enchanted. Honestly, that's the most adorable Disney movie to exist. I'm about to stream that entire soundtrack again and again. That's such an iconic Disney movie. If you haven't seen it again, what is wrong? What are you doing? Go watch it immediately. Um, But yeah, I forgot how cute Robert and Giselle were in the movie. Like they are a slowish burn for a Disney couple. But yeah, let me know what you think of the movie. Do you like it? If you don't, bit controversial. May I ask why? I'm gonna leave that there.
I am so happy that that lives up to how I remembered it. And it's even better than I remembered it, actually. Just, it has all the feels. It's got, it's such a feel-good Disney movie. Everyone gets a happy ending. It's so beautiful. If you like this video, you might like these. Who knows? Maybe not, but I think you will. Okay. See you in the next one. Bye.